Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kramchenko, the founder of Comify QA Bootcamp. On today's video, I'm going to interview one of your mates. And why I say your mates? Because this guy used to watch our YouTube videos. But what happened is he worked as the manual QA engineer in Houston, Texas. He got laid off. Then he was searching for the QA courses, QA automation videos to learn it. And he found our videos on YouTube, just like you. He started, he started watching those. He signed up for the course. And about two and a half, three months after the beginning of the course, he got a job offer as the QA automation engineer in Houston, Texas, which I would love to congratulate him with. You're going to see it in, in a minute. He's a great example of what you could achieve if you do not give up. Because if you do not give up, it is impossible to lose. Anyways, let's get started. But before we do that, I want you guys to remember two things. Number one, you have to hit the big fat thumb up button below if you're enjoying this fella and subscribe to our channel. And second of all, if you guys are interested in learning about a QA from scratch, I'm going to leave a link below because I just created a membership for $150 per month which is almost nothing. You can get free educational videos how to become a QA engineer. And, a, and most of all, you can get partial experience working for a US-based startup. Uh, it's nothing compared to the huge QA automation course or a full-scale uh, QA from scratch courses that we have with the mentors and intense with the mentors, live coding sessions, interview preparations, etc. But it will give you quite a lot of information that you could use and could possibly become a QA engineer. Anyways, let's dive into the video. Hey, David, good to see you, man. Likewise, man. It's good to see you, Sergio. It's been a while, but congratulations with your uh, job offer for the QA automation engineer position. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. I really do appreciate it. Awesome. All right. Do you want to let's start with your story? Let's do you want to tell us who are you and where are you coming from? Yeah. So, yeah, my name is David from Houston. Um, I've been in QA for about like about maybe about four, maybe four or five years now. Um, but, you know, yeah, just was basically, um, I was basically laid off, you know, laid off a little bit. Um, a couple months ago, and so I was just like searching, like, okay, so I'm trying to find a job, and at the same time, like, oh, I want to have some improve my skill set. Um, I've always been interested in automation, so you know, but of course, I, I think the most I really played around with was like Selenium a little bit on my free time, like a couple of years back with Python, so I didn't really do much on it, but you know, that was pretty much it. Then, so I, I, you know, I just happened to find a YouTube video. Of you, right? And then like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I started watching a little more videos and stuff. And then from there, I was like, uh, I was like, okay, let me see if he has a court, you know. And then and I, I saw like the advertisement stuff. I was like, okay, so I kind of checked it out a little bit. And then I was like, okay, this thing's like pretty legit because uh, like if it was manual, I'd be like, eh, you know, kind of deal. Uh, and, and I don't get wrong, I think you can always learn more manual. Like I always think you can learn more manual. It's just it was just like it's like for, for that, it's like I kind of can do that on my own because I have the experience as well. So yeah. like, okay, this is automation. So that's pretty much you know how it started from there. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh so you're saying that you've been laid off and then you found us on a YouTube, right? Yeah. Awesome. So you found us on a YouTube and now you are going to be recorded for the YouTube. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing cool so you got laid off you found us on the youtube you liked us you sign up for the course and tell me how did it all go through so what's crazy my story is a little different because i was excited about the course but like once i started getting in the course a lot of personal things in my life was happening um just is a lot was going on so i wasn't really able to contribute and, and and you know invest in myself like i wanted to but then further down the line maybe like well, what was that like well i think what was like week seven six something like that i was able to kind of like finally get you know finally start getting back into the course you know um but thankfully like my summer manual experience kind of helped me to push up the speed you know on some of the things and um it was crazy as um i think even in our course we um I think we didn't finish like the last portion. What was the con the continuous integration and stuff? But yeah, what was crazy is like just the little information that I got like in week six and seven. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, a lot, which is what I'm crazy because it's like, even though, yeah, I've experienced many of stuff, this was like that part alone, like, helped me out a lot as an interview. So it was like, it was great, man. Nice, nice, awesome. So uh, you started the course, you started applying for a job right away. And as soon as you went through week six or seven, you felt uh, much more skilled and you went through an interview and you got a job offer, right? Yeah, and I was already applying, but it was just like, that's another thing too, like the, I think the mentorship helps out too, because um, I got uh, some insights from uh, one of the mentors and it, it also helped me like in areas of how I need to structure like, my resume and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think that in addition with the course and then, you know, of course, having some of my own experience, I think that's what I think all that in combination like, really, really helped a lot in the long run. But definitely like uh, I think just like even learning like the basic terminal stuff, like all oh, that, even that helped a lot because it, it gave me a lot more confidence and more of the technical side in the parts of, uh, you know, some of the questions that was at, especially like with APIs and stuff. Like that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Awesome. And then you got a job offer. but. Let's stop there for a second. And do you want to tell us how did you, do you want to describe your interview process? You want to tell us what was an interview like? What questions did they ask you? How do you answer them? If you still remember. Yeah, um, I have a good amount of them, not all of them. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go back and because uh, I joined some notes down, so I'm definitely going to go back and like review them just to improve my own interview skills. Yeah. But I noticed most of them were really more towards behavioral. So mm -hmm. I think it kind of worked in my favor because I have some of the experience, but mm -hmm. then also on some other aspects of like, uh, like one of the questions is like, uh, what do you see yourself in five years, right? So it was like, oh, okay. And, you know, I was able to like, you know, just explain like, hey, you know, like the automation portion of it. Uh, and then like the answer I gave, and this was under my honest opinion, it's not like I'm trying to trick anyone or anything, but it's like, me, I was like, I view, I view QA more as like, you know, we, we tend to try to separate the two. And I, it's basically saying, like, you know, I look at it more as a tool to help us in quality assurance as a whole. So mm -hmm. that was one of the questions they asked me. Uh, they also asked, like, uh, what else they asked? Like, um, have you ever had a disagreement with, like, a higher-up? They asked, uh, like, they had a lot of behavioral questions. And then they had some tentacles, definitely, too. Like, one, where they asked, like, um, what are your favorite features on Postman? Um, they asked... Uh, they even gave me a SQL, I think like a one SQL query they wanted me to try to, uh, you know, solve, right? Like, yep. how, do you, how do you order these three different, um, you know, how do you order these students based on their score, that kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah. Then it's, um, what was the other one? There? It's, it's a whole bunch of other questions. Over. But, but I noticed the majority were more behavioral versus like your typical, like, just simple knowledge, you know, of the thing. They did have some that was a simple knowledge, like, um, which one was it? They also asked, like, um, oh, if you had a bug, you disagree with the developer, that kind of thing, like, 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 you know, what is like, have you, like, have you ever had that experience? Have you ever gone through something like that? And I just explained that, you know, that thing. And also asked, like, what is your, like, what is your, like, recent accomplishment that you're proud of? The X, like, yeah. that is real. So, um, I think it's more than what I really been. But I know this majority of this is you know, more behavioral. And huh? I've had some of behavioral, but this one is like they were really extensive, like behavioral compared to like some other interviews, which is like simple, um, like uh what's the test case, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Then, but I think the I think the real best question that really helped out as far as that kind of stood me out was um they asked they wanted me to kind of how would you write a test case for this news story? And so what I did instead, I kind of talked it out and I kind of branched out from different um different testing, different testing methodologies, you know, different different ways of how you would test, you know, mm -hmm. this specific user story. And it's basically thinking outside the box. So I kind of brought that kind of deal to it. And but, but in a nutshell, man, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed it because I mean, even mentioned like even mentioning I even mentioned like, mention, like, oh hey, I'm in I'm in the automation course right now. I mentioned that too. Yeah, so yeah. It was like, you know, bringing up the like the JavaScript errors like in the Chrome Dev tools, stuff like that. And what's crazy is um, I've used Chrome Dev tools before. But I didn't know the JavaScript until I was in this course. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I know a little bit of Python, but I've never knew I didn't know any JavaScript. So I was like, the fact that, that I had I known the learn JavaScript in the course, man, and some of the automation stuff is like it helped me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Definitely helps. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So uh, mostly behavioral, some, some of the few technical questions that you got, Jess, related. Uh, anything automation related, something like a Cypress related, any technologies? Uh, yeah, um, they because um, they're slowly, it's like they're slowly transitioning to that. So majority of their um, in-shop is, uh, is manual, but they ask about like, um, like, how would you... And as far as in the future, what are some ways like, you know, how you would use automation? And then I, I just mentioned like, um, you know, any anything that's repetitive, you know, anything that's repetitive or anything where we can, um, you know, save time or that, that that's like a really uh, redundant, you know, things like that. You know, we want to make sure we automate. And um, and then also I think they mentioned because um, not only Cypress, but uh, I think they use a uh, payment. So, so, right. Nice. Yeah. So, so, so a little bit of that too. So, I was like, okay, yeah, that's perfect. And then, of course, uh, posting. And so, so that helps out as well. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, okay. That's amazing. And then you got your job offer. And uh, are you already working or are you about to start? I start Monday, actually. You start, you start this month, upcoming Monday? Yeah, it's upcoming Monday. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's when the video is going to be posted. That's amazing. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of comments in this video. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Well, tell me. Uh, can you tell me what was the most challenging part for you during the course? Oh, I want to say week five, man. Because, well, because well, the, the reason why I'm saying that part is because uh, it was like because I was basically they was like God's gonna get me basically <laughs> like oh like. <laughs> And and it was kind of tricky because it was like, even though, you know, it was like, it's like you gave us all the tools and stuff, but we had to like think and come up with how to use those tools and integrate them together, right? So it's like not just the loops and not just like a ver and all that. It was kind of like you have to learn to incorporate it in a way to solve that challenge. I was like, oh my gosh. Was like, so I had to go back in my notes. I was like, doing this over and over again. I'm just looking at everything, man. So I think that, that's why I say I probably the, the, the most challenging part is because I was like, okay, now I have to like put everything together. I had to really like trial and error and stuff. I'm over here searching things and whatnot. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's cool that's amazing um all right. sounds good sounds good well in this case let me ask you a couple more questions so yeah. if you would start again if you would sign up for the course again uh, or actually before that what video actually made you sign up for a course like uh, what video did you watch and you were like okay i think i like this guy i, I gotta sign up for his course <laughs> oh let me see i'm trying to think i think it was Oh, it was. I want to say it was actually two videos. One was um, when you went in depth about the different. Um, I want to say paths. I think that was one of them because, mm -hmm. like, even though I'm someone I love to grow and stuff, I always try to improve. But I'm not too. How can I say? Like, I don't mind being, of course, leader and leading. I don't mind leading at all. I didn't want to go up to the point where it's like you're you're more like more on the administrative side. So then I saw like more of the, okay, this is more of the leading on the technical side. I was like, okay, now that I would like to do, you know? So that was one of the things. And then the other video, I think it was like when you explained like basically, yeah, you can learn the material, but it's like online, I'm trying to search it, but it's like, that's too time. It's going to take some time. It's going to take a while. Because, I mean, yeah, you can find information, but then it's like you have to keep on trial and error over and over again. And yeah. then I yeah, know on which order you're doing certain things because you may learn something much later, but that's something that could have been done in the beginning. And then something yeah. you're trying to learn now, it's like, you know, you need to wait and learn that later. So it's like, yeah. or, you know, have the course where it's like your information is right there given to you. You got a mentor, you got someone knows. And then what's amazing, what I didn't even know about this later on is you can reach out and, um, you know, have extra questions even after the course, you know, you know, so that's like, that's another bonus for me because I'm like, okay, because obviously if you want to continue to improve yourself, you still can reach out. And I love that. So I think that's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, that's what we do after any of our students 
graduates from the school, we add them to the code family chat in a Telegram. We're pretty much we have a huge community of graduates and people who are working for different companies, Apple, Tesla, Facebook, Amazon, doesn't matter. You can ask questions, every single one of them, including myself. We're always there. Awesome. So you said this one is the this was the first video. How about a second video that you uh kind of made you made you go for it? Uh well actually those, 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 yeah, I think it was well maybe maybe it was like one video because it was like the first one was like talking about like the different paths. Yeah and then talking about um and then just talking about QA in general or whatever. Oh gotcha. Learning. Yeah, and the other one was like more specific about uh you know, taking a course or on your own and that kind of thing. So yeah, that was that was the other video. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna sign up for that. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Okay, and last question. Uh, what would you recommend to people uh, that are in the same uh, in a similar situation like like you were? There are a lot of people who have been laid off. Uh, a lot of them are asking a question, what to do. Uh, any advices for them? Um well, multiple things. One, I would say definitely be patient. Um, anything, you know, just be patient and then don't stop learning and then take this course. It's like if you're trying to prove your skill set, you know, like the help is there. It's not it's not only just the knowledge base, because that I mean that's good too, but it's just knowing that if there's things down the line in the future that you because you're gonna run across something where you're like, okay. I'm good at this, or I'm used to seeing this, but okay, I need to know. Okay, how's that? Hey, uh, can I need some help with that? You know, and it's like, and, and especially if you're someone that's more in a lead position or you're more of higher up. So it's like, well, there's no one really there at your company that can really learn how to know how to do it. You know, can you can reach out to your help group, you know. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so I think, I think that's, I think that's, that's, that's like the, the top of things for me, though. Man. Yeah. Be patient for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And also, even the people who are not uh, studying with us, who are not taking the course, they can just rent one of our mentors, jump on a call of them, and get uh, get mentored on the interview preparation, on test automation, make sure they're legit. Uh, the LinkedIn profile looks attractive. If they ever have questions, they can reach out. I'm going to leave a link right below this video. Uh, awesome. Anything else you you would like to share with people? Any any little secrets that everyone dreams about? You got a, maybe magic pill somewhere in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> you know? no, I, uh, no magic pill. I guess the only thing I will say is um, one thing I always try to do. I always keep a mindset of you know you know I don't want anyone to be nervous, in, but I think the more you do them, the more you get comfortable with doing them. Because uh, I, I did, I've realized, what made me realize, like, this past month alone made me realize how my interviewing skills were improving at a much faster rate versus when I first joined into the industry. It was, like, slowly because I was new to, you know, everything. So, like, now it's, like, I mean, yeah, the experience, but part of it was just, like, man, like, it's, like, just keep that, just, keep, just, just be patient, just keep going, and then and smile. Because I, uh, you know, and smile, like, you know, just smile, you know, show that you have a good attitude. Uh, that's like the, the main things for me, man. And um, one thing I always do is take notes. Take notes. Signals? Definitely take, uh, take notes. Definitely take notes. Oh, take notes. Gotcha. Yeah. And, and that's good questions. Like, uh, like show that you, you're engaging at the company, too. Because at the end of the day, it's not just you trying to get a job. It's like, do you even want to work for them? Because you have to show that you have value, too, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's not only about you getting job, them getting employed. It's about you choosing them and them choosing you. Just like in a relationship. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, David, for David for joining us. It was a pleasure having you as a student. It's a pleasure to interview you after you watch some of our interviews on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope other people are going to enjoy it on YouTube as well. And well, hopefully we'll see you next time when you're going to get your next job or you could become a lead or a manager. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. Have a good one, David. All right. Likewise. You too, Sergio. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and got inspired by David. Anyways, if you have questions to him, I'm going to leave his LinkedIn profile right below this video. And if you guys are not motivated enough to change your life, get some workout, get some good food, and get a really good sleep. And when you feel better, you will be motivated to change your life. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And you can find my phone number at codemify.com. Have a good one.